Welcome to Drone Academy. Today we're going to take a quick look at something I've been excited to get my hands on, the DJI goggles. At $449, the DJI goggles is certainly not an impulse buy. So for that amount, let's take a look and see what you get. The first thing you're going to notice is the goggle unit itself. Now this is about what you'd expect from DJI in regards to build quality and design. It's very simple and relatively light. Uh, there's a very few buttons and knobs and we'll discuss those a little bit later. On the side here you see the power button as well as a capacitive control area for navigating on-screen menus. So let's see what else you get inside the box. So what you can see here, you have your power brick for the wall. That's a standard USB to micro USB like you would see for older Android phones who haven't yet upgraded to USB-C. And then you're going to see the headband unit. So let's go ahead and pull out the headband and take a look at that as well as some of the other things that you find inside the box, which include a microfiber cleaning cloth for the lenses, a charging cable, and a micro HDMI to HDMI, which I thought was neat for connecting external sources like a Nintendo Switch or anything else you might want to watch. Now tipping the scale at just under 2.2 pounds, these goggles are not exactly what I would consider light. In fact, they're about twice what you'd experience with an HTC Vive or similar VR headset, and well above what you would see with other type of FPV racing goggles. Now the good news is, is that a little over half of that weight is in the headband portion of the unit, where the batteries live. So that distributes it more evenly around your head and makes the goggles feel more comfortable than their weight would indicate. In addition to the buttons on the bottom, there is this knob that I mentioned earlier to adjust the inner pupillary distance. And then on the side, you're gonna notice underneath this flap a few things. One being a slot for a micro SD card, the other being a headphone jack, and the last being a micro HDMI. Now the micro HDMI is neat for video in, but it does not do video out, which I feel like was a miss for DJI, especially considering that you can't actually save the goggle video directly to that micro SD card. However, you can do screenshots, which are pretty neat. Now on the bottom here, you can see two menu navigation buttons, as well as a power button on the side right there next to the battery indicator. Now those of you who are familiar with DJI products will recognize the power on, power off process. It is a short push followed by a long press uh, to get it fired up. And now that we do, you can see inside you're greeted with this DJI animation splash screen. And since it's the first time I've powered this unit on, you can also maybe see that you're greeted with a tutorial that walks you through how to activate your product as well as connect it to a single or multiple drones depending on whatever your use case is going to be. Well, that's been a quick unboxing and look at the DJI goggles. Now, I'm actually really excited to be doing a full review of this unit over the course of the next couple weeks. So if you have any questions that you'd like to see covered, like how do these compare to other FPV goggles or how do they work with different types of aircraft, feel free to let us know in the comments below or reach out to us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at DroneAcademyCom.